Um, I could be wrong, but if you're going to make a quote-unquote biopic of a famous and popular, and most importantly of all, a beloved Hollywood icon, then, you know, maybe you should actually like that person. How's it going guys? Welcome back to my channel and time for another episode of Luke's Reviews. On today's video, Netflix are officially entering the Oscar race with the widely talked about and evidently controversial Marilyn Monroe biopic, Blonde. Andrew Dominic's Blonde doesn't have an actual story as such. Instead, this is more of a supposed overview of the life of Norma Jean, better known as Marilyn Monroe. Starting with her tumultuous relationship with her mother, to her widely publicised romances, failed pregnancies, struggle to find respect within Hollywood, the film joins her as her mental health is suffering because of this never-ending cycle of abuse. Now, after hearing that plot synopsis, you're thinking, wow, this sounds like a heavy film. Um, you're right, it does, and it is. However, whilst I'm not opposed to any film that wants to depict anything brutal or could be considered sensitive, You've got to always ensure that it is handled with the right amount of care and professionalism. So not what Andrew Dominic does here. Look, if I'm speaking purely on the perspective of how this film has been made, Dominic has undeniably crafted a visual extravagance, which you would expect if you were told that they were painting a portrait of the Marilyn Monroe. There's also a reliance on magic realism as reality and fantasy often blend together, making it hard for Norma Jean to figure out what is actually real. And there's constant changing of the color and aspect ratios, which I'm not entirely sure why they were included, but at least it does keep your eyes occupied. Because otherwise, I think that this film... Well, it's it clocks in at 2 hours 40, and this film would have been very boring and dull, if not. The score, too, is very ethereal and foreboding. It reminded me of the music of Hilda, and I'm not entirely sure how you, you pronounce uh, her second name. She was the composer for Joker, um, and it's really quite eerie. Um, and honestly, the same level of talent goes to the production design, the costume design, the sound. They're all very very impressive. As for Anna de Armas, she undoubtedly gives the best performance of her career so far. The emotion and resilience that she's demonstrating here is top tier level work. Where my issue lies is in the fact that beyond the exterior, I never once saw her as either Marilyn Monroe or Norma Jean. She's got the look and certain mannerisms down to a T and the fact that she doesn't exactly sound like Marilyn Monroe, isn't the issue. The issue is that this film has next to no humanity, which is a shocking omission if, as I would hope it would be, the intention was to tell Marilyn's story being respectful and honouring her legacy, whilst at the same time still drawing the attention to the abuse that she suffered. Our hearts should be breaking at such a tragic figure, but Dominic treats the film more like a three-hour abuse reel instead of detailing her life, both the ups and the downs, and we are therefore never shown who the real Norma Jean was. Instead, all we get is Anna de Armas parading around most of the movie topless like a slab of meat. I get that there were certain aspects of Marilyn Monroe's life or Norma Jean's life where that was the case, but to take that one aspect and present it as if that is her entire life, and not show any of her humanity, her warmth, her strength, her bravery, her ingenuity, what she did for polarizing and becoming one of the biggest stars on the planet. That's not in this film, and I don't, I don't care if that's not the story that they wanted to tell. You can't diminish 
this woman's legacy purely down to, oh, she was an abused victim. I'm sorry, you can't do that. That's not fair on her or her legacy. And whilst I don't agree with some of the reports that claim how grotesque the movie is, and it got that NC-17 uh, rating that is typically meant for like the, the most visceral and, 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 and diabolical movies around, it's the film's attitude that I have the most problems with. As I said, elements of her abuse in this film are true, and I don't want to overlook any of that. But when it's clear that Dominic is exemplifying them for the screen, and in some cases amplifying them to an almost obscene level, I'm left asking the question, why? Why exploit this woman any further? Why do we need a scene of her talking to her unborn fetus about her previous abortions? Why do we need a scene in which we see her quite vividly giving JFK head? Over this staggeringly long runtime, why does Andrew Dominic feel the need to put this woman through the ringer once more? It treats her image like an empty shell, similar to how parts of her life were treated when it was in her heyday. Look, watch Blonde, don't watch Blonde, make your own mind up about it, but if your morals are as reprehensible and offensively absent as they are here in Blonde, then there is no way in good conscience that I can recommend this film. It is beautiful on the outside, but an ugly, pretentious mess within. So I'm going to give Blonde a 4 out of 10. Anyway guys, those were my thoughts on Blonde. Let me know, have you had a chance to see the film yet? What did you think? I know it's been a bit of a bone of contention, so let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And my question to you, I want to know, um, I don't necessarily like asking negative questions within the comments, but this is a topic that does interest me. I want to know, is there a movie out there that you think just straight up should not have been made? I'm not necessarily talking about the quality, but perhaps the subject matter. You just don't think that we should be making movies about that thing. But that is all we have time for here today, so thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Hello! Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, make sure to click that like button, and if you aren't already, click that subscribe button too.